Watch you guys got another video here for you. This is another stop error, which is the blue screen of death, which one is called the kernel security check failure blue screen of death. Now there's been quite a few YouTubers that have created a video on this, which is about a minute long telling you just to install your graphics drivers. And to be honest, this error can be hardware related and software related and is a lot more complex than just installing a graphics driver. But I'll show you all the steps of things you should be doing to try and rectify this error. So Windows updates is obviously a given. You have to go there and check for Windows updates to make sure there isn't a bug fix uh, available for it. A lot of these YouTubers will create videos like this just to get the title so they can get some sort of revenue on it because people are obviously searching for that error, but they're not really giving you a real fix. So I'm going to give you a string of things to try and test and uh, hopefully you can find a resolution to your problem. So once you've got updates, download them and install them. And hopefully uh, it is just a bug with Windows 10 that you're getting an error with. If it's not, then you need to determine whether it's a hardware issue or a software issue. Could be drivers, could be viruses, it could be a, a corrupt operating system, could be many different things. And I'm going to go through and show you some of the things that you should be doing to try and solve this problem. So open up the command prompt and run this as administrator. The next thing you want to do is check the uh, SFC scan now. And what this is going to do is check for any sort of uh, operating system files that have got corrupted in some way. And you can then replace those files or try to fix those files. If you don't and you uh, don't run this, what's going to happen? You could end up with an error just like this one here. And then what's going to happen is it's going to cause some sort of uh, blue screen of death or some sort of problem and you may have an issue with your operating system. Now you may try a bunch of different fixes and they don't work and then you're going to need to have to reinstall the operating system. I'll show you that right along the end of the video. But basically, if you want to check the log file of that scan, you can go into uh, the Windows directory and then logs and then CBS and you should see a log file in there and you can go through here and search for corrupt and you should be able to see all of the files that were corrupt and you can then go ahead and try to resolve it that way. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, you can see here some uh, corruptions here. So basically just have a look in there and have a good look to find out whether you've got a problem. Now remember everyone's going to have a different issue with their um, blue screen of death so yours may be different to someone else's. So just remember not to just follow someone else's fix because it might not be the fix for you. So just go ahead and try to uh, try a different bunch of stuff here to try and resolve the problem. So once you've checked your log file, hopefully you'll find out where the problem lies. If it comes back, the SFC scan now check comes back clean and there's no problems, then you can move on to another step. So you're going to need to still determine here whether you have got a a hardware or software problem. So we'll go ahead and uh, check some of those things as well, because this can be related to memory as well. So what we're going to do is move on to the next thing. So if you have got errors coming up here, these are some of the things that you can try next to hopefully try and resolve it. So go back into your command prompt box. If you've shut it down, you'll have to reopen it. You can see this one's been open still. So we're going to put in here dism space forward slash online space forward slash clean dash image space forward slash check health put that in there and let that run you should uh, take a few seconds to come and you can see here uh, no corrupt store uh, corruption detected which is uh, good so we can do one more scan here yours might say other things there so the next thing we want dism space forward slash online space forward slash clean up dash image space forward slash scan health this will then scan the health and let that run through. And uh, once that's completed, it may take a bit of time, so be patient. So these these scans will uh, take a bit of time. I have sped it up a little bit. I've cut the video a little bit shorter in places just to speed things up for you. Now basically run these scans in sequence like I'm showing you. Now there's no need to run these scans if SFC space forward slash scan now is coming back clear and there's no problems there's no need to run these okay because that's not your issue you need to move on to something a little bit later on in the video which i'll show you so next up what you want to do here if you're still having issues here 
is we're going to type in this command which is dism space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and run this and uh, let that run now that will take a bit of time as well so be patient but again can't stress enough if you're not having issues with the sfc scan now and it's not coming back with any problems you don't really need to run this really but i'm just adding this bit in here just in case people have got issues and it is kicking up a blue screen of death and you've got trouble with the sfc scan now we can run these uh, checks and it's advisable because you don't want any corrupt file causing an issue so once we've run these we can close all this off and move on to the next stage okay so once you've done this obviously you have to reboot your system and once you reboot you'll get a windows updating and it will start to update and uh, you should be okay so let's move on uh, to the next uh, thing that we want to do here so the next thing we're going to be doing is check disk and uh, we're going to run a check disk on the system so go down to search and type cmd and run this as administrator this will open up the uh, command prompt box here and what you want to do here is type in here check disk so basically you want to do chk dsk space and then forward slash and then x this will dismount the drive and then space forward slash f and then the c drive we're going to put that on there and we're going to push enter you might get check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another program or process we can now push y for yes and let that run on the next reboot so let's reboot the system and check so i'm just going to quickly restart here and once you restart you should get the check disk happening and now what we need to do here is see if there's any issue here and this will run its uh, checks now this does take a bit of time but it's worth doing this now obviously hard disk uh, troubles are another cause of this error as well and uh, you want to check the hard disk and make sure the hard disk is not failing or got any sort of uh, bad sectors or bad blocks on it just make sure that you run these checks okay now if this fails then obviously uh, you've got problems so just let this run through there'll be a bunch of stages here to let this check now also we're going to be testing the memory on the system as well just to make sure I'm also going to be updating all the drivers on the system as well which you'll see a little bit later on but that's important because obviously this could be uh, driver related so we're just going to let these uh, scanning and repair the drive and there we go now on reboot you may get some updates coming on on the screen but we're just going to reboot here and uh, just enter the desktop and once we get back to the desktop now you can use crystal disk here this will give you uh, read the smart on the drive and give you some idea whether the drive is failing or not and there's also some more advanced software out there which will actually scan the drive sector by sector which does take a fair bit of time but using this uh, quick method uh, for crystal disk info will check the smart and you can then decide whether to do more investigation on the drive if you are getting errors that are related to your drive then you definitely want to do that we also want to download mini tool partition wizard here and this just has a little quick surface scan for the drive and this sometimes gives you an idea that the drive is starting to fail or you've got errors so you can always download this now again there is other software from uh, Seagate uh, tools you can run those which will do a much more thorough test but we're just doing a quick test here because I just want to get an idea of whether the drive is failing or not so go to the C drive and you can run checks here for errors on this with this software as well and all you need to do here is right click on it and you can see here check file system for errors you can do not fix and detect errors or you can uh, check and fix detect errors if you want to and you can just push start I've already done this check so I don't need to do it again but I'm just doing this to show you so basically you can check stuff from here and it gives you a bit more information there so let me just cancel out of this one and we'll do a quick surface scan of the drive as well now again there is other more in-depth uh, software out there that will do a real thorough check because this is only just skipping across the surface but if there was problems with the drive you would start seeing 
uh, red squares popping up on the screen which will give you an inkling that the drive is starting to uh, fail or have bad errors on it or bad sectors and you will then be able to uh, address that issue and decide whether you want to swap out the drive with a new one and this sort of puts it to bed a little bit so we'll move on to the next step here and I'll just quickly do a, a check with a crystal disk here and you can see there's no red squares here which is a good sign so then close this off and again if you are in a PC repair shop you'd be doing a much more longer scan on the drive to make sure the drive is uh, not bad and you can see here by looking at crystal disk info we can see the drive is in good health 100% health and the temperature and it gives you a bunch of information like the power on hours the power on count and uh, stuff like that and this is important because obviously if there was an issue with the drive it will start to show up in these locations here as well and uh, that would be where you would start to see uh, problems so moving on to the Samsung Magician, if you've got a Samsung drive or a data or any other drive that you're using, they come with their own proprietary software and you can see the smart on those normally and it will give you the information just like uh, Crystal Disk uh, Info does. But um, obviously Crystal Disk Info is a little bit more in depth there. So moving on to the memory, you need to test the memory and you can use Passmark software. You can download this. I have made videos on this, so I'm not going to go too heavy on this one. I'm just going to show you how to use the Windows uh, memory tester here. But if you want to use Passmark, I would advise you to and run that for a good uh, at least four passes on the memory to make sure the memory is not failing. And that way you can say that the memory is OK. If you keep getting repetitive blue screen of death, you need to do something. And you can see here we're using the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool, which does work and it does give you a quick idea of whether the memory is starting to fail or you may have problems. So we're going to reboot the system and boot into the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool here. Now straight away it will start running and this may not be good enough for you. You may want to do a much more in-depth scan and you can push F1 to open up the options screen on the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool to choose what sort of scan that you want to do and you can see here basic standard or extended and uh, depending on how much you want to scan I would advise you to go extended we're going to go for extended here I and mean, you can see it gives you the idea of what it actually scans and it will detect errors on your system memory so if you've got problems with that memory and there's errors on there it will detect those again this is a built-in Windows diagnostic tool and uh, for quickness, some people may want to use it if they're not familiar with uh, creating bootable USB flash drives and stuff like that. They may just want to come in here and push uh, extended, F1, push extended, and then push F10 to apply, and that will then start to scan the memory. So for people that are not quite familiar with the checking memory process, that might be a quick thing for you to do. So you can see here, once we've checked the memory, we found out the memory is OK. You can use something like Who's Crashed to check the blue screen of def dump file. And this dump file will give you the information and give you some ideas of where to look for your problems with what's happening to your system. And uh, all you need to do here is download this free tool. It's a free tool to download uh, for home users. You can go here and uh, click on Downloads. And this will open up their download section. And what you're looking for here is the actual who's crashed on here. So I'm going to download this one and let that download. And again, this will give you a bit more information about what's going on with the system. And normally, uh, sometimes these are related to uh, driver issues, but it can be hardware. So don't just think that you've got this blue screen of death and it's always driver related because it could be a hardware issue and you need to check. So we just quickly install this software here and we'll give this a test. And you'll get, generally see what it gives you uh, information wise about the dump file. So let's open this up and go to the full screen here so you can see uh, what it's actually saying. There we go. Now when we look at this here, you can see here we've got and analyze and options and uh, we've got dump files up there and local drives so all we need to do here is click on uh, analyze but this is the dump files area here 
So we're just going to go to report and click on analyze. There we go. And let that run. And it'll be quick because it's uh, just detected the dump file that is in the system. And uh, you can now pull this down. And you can see it's found that dump file, which is called kernel security check failure. And you can see the bug check description. This kernel has detected the corruption of critical data structure. A third party driver was identified as the prob probable root cause of the system error. So it's telling me roughly what is going on with the system and roughly to look for a third party driver which has been identified by their software. Now what it will do is it will basically give you a, a very vague answer to what the problem is. It won't be exactly precise and say this is your problem. You can see Windows updates, uh, suggest update your drivers, uh, possible cause crashes resets the hardware failure, possible cause system crashes and resets overheating, your thermals, basically your thermal compound. You can see here possible cause for system crashes overheating and it also says possible causes crashes and resets for throttling, thermal issues. You can also see it's pointing towards uh, disk errors which could be your hard drive and again it just goes on and on. Virus and malware, uh, buggy antivirus, anti-spyware, firewall and also memory corruption. Again we've checked the memory power failure because the reason why they're telling you this is because no computer problem is the same. You could have a bunch of different things for different computers. So you need to check all this stuff. You can see driver verifier there, which I'll show you in a second. So it's important that you run through and check a lot of things. There's no good putting one video up with saying just install graphics drivers, which I've seen up there. And there's actually quite a few people that have watched it. And of course that might fix one person's, but there's loads of other people that it's going to not work on. So you need to do exactly what I'm showing you here to try to find where the problem lies. So let's go into the verifier tool here and this will also verify. So just type verifier in the search box and click on run as administrator and then you will get driver verifier manager opening up and you can see here create a standard settings. You can use uh, the create a standard settings, click on next and then move on to the next phase which is automatically select unassigned drivers and you can see here it's going to scan for those and no unregistered drivers have been found. And again you've got some other options available here for you. So if you went next here it will do the same thing. Okay it's already done that. So underneath here you've got some other ones like automatically select drivers built in for older versions of Windows and you can check that out and you can also automatically select all drivers installed on this computer or select drivers named on a list. So you can see here it gives you some information and this is what you need to work through okay to try to resolve the problem. Now the problem is with uh, troubleshooting videos or troubleshooting techniques no problem is the same and it's going to take a lot of uh, diagnosis to try and find where the problem lies. Now once you've found the driver which is causing a problem then you'll need to uninstall and remove that driver from the system so it doesn't cause any more blue screen of deaths. Once you've done that you can go into command prompt and type verifier space forward slash reset and this will turn off the uh, driver verifier program. So you just need to make sure that you go through and it's going to take a, a long time to find which one is causing the problem and once you do find that driver you can then go ahead as I said and then remove that from the system. A quicker way of determining whether it's a hardware or software problem is reinstalling Windows and putting a fresh install of Windows and if you get any problems after you've got a fresh install of Windows you normally know it's pointing towards hardware related problems other than software and uh, because you've done a fresh install. Now again we need to update all the drivers on the computer and uh, you need to go to your manufacturer's website. Do not use those driver update programs off the internet, like uh, some sort of weird names like uh, driver booster and things like that, because they're not going to uh, give your system uh, the required drivers that you need. You need to go to the motherboard manufacturer's website and download their utility, 
or download the drivers for that motherboard. Every motherboard manufacturer will have their own site and have their own drivers for you to download, which will be all their chipset drivers, their BIOS and all that sort of stuff. It will all be on the website for the brand and model of your motherboard. So that's what you need to download. And once you find the utility, they normally have a utility, some sort of uh, utility where you can use to download them all in one fell swoop. And that makes it a lot easier. There's no need to use uh, driver update tools a good thing to do here is temporarily pause or your antivirus program or disable it temporarily just until you've done an update because they can uh, cause problems when uh, drivers are trying to install into directories which the antivirus program may be trying to protect. Okay, so it's trying to protect it thinking it's malware related and it may block it and it may cause problems for you. Also, you may want to turn off any sort of firewall or anything like that. Just give it full access to let it access the Internet. And once you've done that, you can then go ahead and install the program and run the driver update. Now, this one's called Live Update from MSI, and I'm pretty sure there's other ones that are very similar to this. And you can just use those to update all your drivers. Now, if you're having a driver issue uh, with for something else like graphics drivers, you may have to go to AMD's website or NVIDIA's website and download that driver. Uninstall the old one and reinstall the new driver or you can roll back to an older version if you've just updated and now you're getting blue screen of deaths. Okay, that's a normal uh, way of doing things. Let's go to the live update area, automatic scan and hit scan here. And this will run a scan on the system and it will detect whether you've got any drivers installed that need to be installed. You can see they're not installed and we need to install them because the old ones are outdated. So that would, means we can uh, just put the tick in the top here where it says type and it will put the tick in all of these. And that's it. You can just now go over to the total installer on the right hand side. And uh, you don't want to download these uh, manually because what's going to happen is it will take time. So just go to the total installer. It will go ahead and download these one at a time and then reinstall them. It may need to reboot a number of times. Sometimes it does it all in one fell swoop. So just let it come down. You can see they're coming down pretty quickly. And once they're down, it will go ahead and start to install these for you. You will need to reboot the system. And hopefully this resolves your problem because drivers can be a big cause of blue screen of deaths and that's what you need to investigate. And that was pointing toward a third party driver that was installed on this system. Now I did mention about graphics drivers. Now graphics drivers can also cause problems. Um, sometimes if your graphics driver is working fine, I tend to not want to update it automatically. If it's working fine, I tend to leave it. But if you've got a few problems, you may want to keep it updated. Now whether you're using an AMD um, graphics card or Nvidia, choose the uh, graphics uh, driver that you need to download and it will be your list of graphics uh, cards here. You can choose which one you need download the software and uh, install it. Now, if you've got the latest graphics driver and it's starting to cause problems since you've updated it, then you can roll back and go to a slightly older version of that driver, which was stable and working for you, and then disable the driver updates feature. And you can do that as well. I've made videos on that, so you can check out my playlist uh, for those. And you can see here, there's a long list of stuff here. And all you need to do is choose the one that suits you download it and install it okay now you may have a very old graphics driver installed and it may need to be updated because now it's very old and it needs to be updated because it's kicking up an error or blue screen of death windows updates itself all the time and of course the more it updates the more problems you can run into down the line now the last ditch dope here is getting into the troubleshooter of windows you can boot up to a cd or go into the windows uh, recovery and get into reset this pc keep all your files and reset uh, your computer back to factory settings and uh, this is your last ditch hope or you can do a fresh install as i said for quickness do a quick fresh install of the operating system back all your data up and basically what that will do is if the problem goes away you know it's a driver issue if it's still there then it could be hardware related and you need to investigate further and if you're not capable of doing that you need to take it to a pc repair shop and get them to look at it for you but basically this is going to put a fresh copy of windows on keep your data 
and uh, all your settings will be back to default uh, using the reset PC as you can see here it removes all apps and programs and things like that and changes all your settings back to default and it will reinstall Windows without re removing any of your personal data. Now these are just some of the things that you can try to try to resolve the problem. There's many other things you can do. You can do a clean boot as well, which uh, I didn't show in the video, which I've made videos on. You can check those out in my video description. If I keep going on and on, the video will be like an hour long. But you just basically have to work your way through it, run scans with antivirus programs, make sure there's no malware on the system. And if it, the worst comes to the worst, you can back up your data and reinstall Windows and do a fresh install and hopefully that resolves your problem. If you're still having issues after that, then obviously it is pointing towards some sort of hardware issue and you'll have to uh, get that seen to. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Let us know in the comment section below whether this helped you out and give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.